Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Okay guys, so welcome back to Up and Adam Channel 2. If you guys did not catch our hot messy topics today on Up and Adam Channel 1, then definitely go be a part of the replay crew because it was a great hot messy. Um, I cleared up a lot of things, you know, like I, at least in my opinion, I had the conversation that so many people were wondering about because it's so funny. It's like at the end of the day, people forget I am asking the question. That's all I can do. I can ask you the question. Whatever answer you come up with, that's on you. That applied to Jen Shaw. That applied to Fallon Gobadia. That applied to Kathy Hilton. That applied to Victoria Lee Robinson. That applied to like the other 100 interviews I've done. If I ask you a question, it's totally up to you. And yet here we are. But... The feud is continuing, guys. So I guess Tom Sandoval has reacted to all of this from Scotland. We're going to get into all of it. And so has Victoria Lee. And now so has Billy Lee. Um, Here we go. Smash that like button. Show some love. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Here we go. I just want to bob like this, like every time that music comes on. Somebody said the other day, Adam, I hate your music. I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Sometimes I get in the car with my husband and I hate his music. I get it. <laughs> that's not an insult. We just all have differences of opinions, especially or interests when it comes to music. That's totally okay, guys. And I respect your opinion. Now, with that, we have to start here. So obviously, obviously you guys know, um, I did the interview, which was not really like an interview. I keep calling it an interview. I, I put on the thumbnail live interview. When I had the conversation with Kyle Chan and Victoria Lee Robinson before even coming on, I said, it's just that. It's a conversation. Yeah. Do I want to get a little bit more of a backstory on you? Sure. But I want to hear your side of the story, which she really wanted to get out because she well, didn't have the platform to do it, in my opinion. And that's not a diss on her. I think that she really just wanted to share her side with someone who could potentially get it out there. And I said, okay. Then I saw a couple comments where people were like, Adam, you were used. Your platform was used. How stupid can you be? And I'm like, well, actually, I think that you guys are missing the, not you guys as a whole, but I think that some people are missing the fact that I was incredibly intrigued at just even hearing Victoria Lee Robinson speak because um, we've only seen videos of her. So I wanted to hear her. I wanted to kind of see what the what the vibe was. Yeah, I had an interest, right? I mean, did I know how it was going to go? No. And I think that's the gamble of a live. But Victoria and Kyle were both very, very aware of that. And I think that they were happy with the outcome, even though a lot of people had many, many opinions. But after all of this, and after this conversation came out, of course, it was picked up and ran all over the place, um, especially Instagram, Bravo, fan accounts, um, just like ours, right? Um, and then major media publications, like people were just running with it. I knew that was going to happen. But that's also sort of why I had the interest, right? So then moving forward, Billy Lee ended up responding, which I knew she would, and she has every right to do because it has to do with her. So it makes sense. And I'm like, okay, that's right. Then we didn't know if Tom Sandoval was going to respond or if he was not going to respond because Tom Sandoval, if you guys don't know, right now is in Scotland. He's filming for Traders. So He's filming with like Dorinda, Dolores, a few other people, but he's currently, currently filming. And while they're filming, usually they take their phones away and then they might give them their phones for like an hour a day or something like that. So he doesn't have a whole lot of access to see what's going on. So when that happened, or when I found out that he was in Scotland, I immediately went into uh, a train of thought of, 
Would Billy Lee be potentially dropping this information knowing that Tom Sandoval is going to not have his phone and not be able to respond to it? But those were my own personal thoughts. That's not an attack on Billy or anybody else. I'm just, I always try to wonder what people's motives are. It, my head, you know, is constantly just like spinning. The wheels are spinning in my, in my brain and I'm thinking about everything. I'm very aware of things, I feel. And so then moving forward, Tom Sandoval put something out, which sort of was exactly what I was expecting. Let me just show you guys the clip. It's not even a clip. It's a post. Thank you to Taste of Reality. They reposted it. Hmm. They said, Billy Lee's false claims, or he said, Billy Lee's false claims towards Victoria Lee Robinson and Kyle Chan were designed to damage our friendships. And relationships. Victoria, Kyle, and I all heard her on speakerphone while she made those accusations. They were designed to isolate me from my close friends for ulterior motives. It is not a coincidence. This is the part that I was thinking. It is not a coincidence that she is doing this while I'm out of the country and she is on tour. I will be addressing everything when I get back. Now, again, I don't have a dog in this fight. But I did think the same thing. I was like, okay, well, he's gone. You know? Why, why now? But then when he said, well, she's going on tour and this could be a potential like promotion for her tour. All right. Well, then Victoria Lee Robinson entered the chat and she posted and then Billy Lee clapped back at the post. Here we go. You guys, you can't write this shit. So I'm going to share this one real quick. This is Victoria Lee Robinson stories from 15 hours ago. It's me, Billy Lee, said, to stay relevant for the rest of my tour, I'll be spilling more tea at every show just for you, V. Can I just say, even though I'm talking about this because somehow I got myself affiliated, which is not normally, it's totally out of character for me, I feel. But now seeing this, I'm like, oh, you want the fight. Like, there are certain players in this argument that want the fight because the fight works. And there are people out there, and trust me, I'm well-versed in people continuously attacking you. You don't say anything about them. You don't mention them. You don't bother them. Yet, they don't leave you alone. They'll mention you. They know that people want to hear about that side of the story. They know that they're going to get clicks and views. They know they're going to sell tickets. They know they're going to make money off of you. And Victoria Lee Robinson and Tom Sandoval is a great way to sell tickets. Like I wouldn't necessarily buy a ticket to just anyone's comedy show. But if I know you're going to drop some Bravo tea, mm, if I'm in town, I might be more up to do that. That's just me. Maybe not you guys, but that's me. So, okay. But wait. It continues. Then she said, hey, Billy, quick question. And then she posted a Mean Girls meme. Why are you so obsessed with me? Then she went on to add at the end of it, pretty much saying that, okay, well, it's probably because I'm helping you promote your tour. So you're welcome. Now I'm just like, you guys can have your own fight. When Tom Sandoval gets back from Scotland, he can address whatever he wants. Victoria and Kyle, who great conversations with them, especially not on a live. I wish them the best. Billy Lee also wished the best. I'm curious how this is going to play out, but doesn't involve me. But I know there's going to be a lot of shit that's said. And that's exactly what I want to hear. So guys, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and um, we'll see you in just a little bit. Love you guys.